What is up, guys? Urbex Dave, Freetography. There's Rhythm Rider over there. What is up? Urbex Carlos around here somewhere. This is going to be a 24 hour overnight challenge. We're going to spend the night inside this abandoned psychiatric hospital that you see behind me. Right below us, right here, there's tunnels. There's a morgue. Did you just fucking see that? There's a gymnasium. Auditorium, Urbex Jamie, Freedom Rider, Urbex Carlo, UBC, Jail Sales, Forensics Unit. We are gonna come in here and we are gonna explore by day, by night. We're gonna come out in the morning. Hopefully having a good explorer and not getting caught. Just a uh, motion sensor. So here it is, let's go on inside. Pretty sweet, eh? Yeah. All right, here we are. Herbex Jamie, Rhythm Rider. Herbex Carlo, UBC. Abandoned uh, Insane Asylum. What are we gonna call this, Insane Asylum? Psychiatric Hospital. Yeah. We're in the auditorium right now. Dark, scary. Hey, UBC. Dark, scary. There it is. Okay, we'll be back. We're back. Long hallway. Lots of power. Urbex Carlo. Freedom Rider. Freetography. Check out the chapel. Checking out the chapel here. Even though I clutch my blanket and growl when the alarm rings each morning, thank you, Lord, that I can hear. There are many who are deaf. Time clock. 
Sure. This is how you do it. You gotta stay, you gotta lay low. You can be seen right up my ass. <laughs> Okay, what you're looking at here, these are the keys to these lockers here. So if you were gonna come visit somebody who was staying in this, uh, in this hospital, in the forensics unit, you'd have to drop off your shit. Hey, look, I signed my name up here, look. <laughs> there I am, right there. <laughs> are you back there? There you are, yeah. So, UBC sign on the board. Stay HIV positive. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? Here we are on Freetography, as you know. We're doing a uh, another one of these 24-hour challenges in this abandoned psychiatric hospital. Trying to practice a little bit of uh, light discipline in here because it's really fucking dark so here we're inside a, a cell forensic cell in this uh in this forensic ward of the hospital so here you've got one of the rooms here with the barred doors you've got your door here where you slide through your food this one here's got a little painting on it a little saying it says learn from yesterday live for today hope for tomorrow that's some inspirational shit right there so here you've got a bit of a common room where, uh, where people would sit and enjoy the day with their loved ones who were incarcerated. Here's where the guards would stay. This is probably the main room here where the guards hang out. There's me up in the mirror there. And back down the hallway. I've got to watch my light, but there's uh, about eight cells maybe, eight, ten cells in here. One of them has no windows, the rest of them have a few windows. Right now we got Urbex Carlo and uh, Rhythm Rider watching outside because it's dark. We got to keep an eye out for security. But so far, so good. Here's a cell right here with uh, with a toilet. Let's move this down a little bit. Got a toilet. You got a sink. Got your door. Beds have been removed. Every one of these rooms used to have a camera in them. And uh, that's it. That's it for this ward. So we'll find some other cool shit. Hopefully we don't get caught. Peace. Yeah. So, Urbex Carlo isn't sure if he wants to stay the night tonight. So let's uh, have a comment down below. If you think the UBC should be staying the night in here with us. I say it's a yes. Freedom Rider says it's a yes. So what do you think? Should he stay the night? You'll have to watch and find out if he does. <laughs> Yeah. 
Requisition for clothing. Requisition for... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This is where there be things. Pretty much is what Carlo was saying. What Carlo was just saying was that they had things in here. This is where they put all the things that they had for all the stuff. Oh, this autoclave for cleaning. This is for cleaning all the uh, instruments and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go check out the morgue. I think Raiden Riders in the morgue right now. Lights are on. It's looking scary if you ask me. Let's go check out the morgue. It's got that smell. Smells like a morgue in here. So you come into the morgue and you go to the left and the left hand side This is where they would perform the autopsies. So if you look on the floor These two uh, boxes here are squares. That's where the slabs would have been So that's where they would have cut up the bodies done their autopsies store all their equipment and gear inside here and then they would put the bodies inside the fridge here. All right, so we just came out of the uh, side of the morgue. Oops. So we just came out of the side of the morgue where they did the autopsies. That side was dark. It had the uh, institutional looking colors. This here is where the family would have come in to view the body of the dead. So this is the nicer room, it's white, they probably have some pictures on the wall. But this is where the family would come and they would pull the bodies out through this side. So you can see through. There's, there's Ridden Rider. That wasn't a ghost, that was Ridden Rider. What is up guys? <laughs> what is up guys? So there's four, room for four bodies in here. Windows are all boarded up. Looks like people tried breaking in here few times but this is a pretty cool room one of the nicest um, morgues I've ever seen to be honest with you all right so we'll be back some lights so there's some windows that go outside so we gotta practice our light discipline down here and be careful don't want the security guard outside to see what we're up to what's in here it's just a room that's all it's just a room nothing fun
straight. Goes down that way. Goes down that way. And then it goes down this way. Let's see if it's this way. Water fountain here? Look. That's inspiring. Oh, we got another, uh, got a chalkboard. There we go. Right? Yeah. yeah, go. Oh my god! It's yellow. That's nasty! <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Good thing my eyes didn't get burned in here, eh? Whoa! <laughs> it blew up on me when I first did it. It shot up. But oh guys, look how yellow. What is up, guys? Rubex Dave, photography, Rhythm Rider, Rubex Dean, Rubex Carlo, Carlo Pelota, Crazy Stallion, whatever, whatever those names you have. Italian Stallion. Italian Stallion. We're still here. Been here for about six hours in this abandoned uh, mental hospital. So we're going to check this place out here. This is that room that we were telling you about earlier where the, uh, where the bodies are stored. And uh, so this is just some windows all boarded up. And. Uh, this is where they would come in and the bodies would be stored in here and the family would come into this side to see the, to see the bodies of their deceased. So this here is the morgue fridge with the doors closed. There you go. And then the uh, mortician or whatever you might want to call them would open this here. And then this here. And then was, Did you just fucking see that? What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I'm gonna have to play that again in slow motion. Holy fuck. Did you just see that? The fucking... The tray just moved. This tray just moved. Fuck. Sorry I'm swearing so much, but that was crazy. Did you guys see that? that was Holy shit. Holy this shit, it is hot in here. It is really fucking hot in here. It just suddenly got like super hot. That is weird. Okay, I don't know how I feel about staying here anymore tonight. I don't know, I've seen security just drive by. I don't think it's even safe to drive. Man guys, we just had a security drive by us. And drive by a whole building, shining flashlights. So then we had to duck out and hide. Now we're hiding inside the morgue. And I was just looking at the morgue fridge, and the tray inside moved. I shit you not, I will play it back in slow motion. Carl, 
you okay? Yeah. You okay? Your hair just turned red. <laughs> what is up, guys? This is Burbex Dave in the scary, scary morgue. Ooh, this is the one that moved. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen of the abandoned hospital where the food was cooked. That's why Carlo wants to be in here. UBC. If you know what UBC means, comment down below. All right, we're still in this abandoned hospital. It's our uh, 24 hour overnight challenge. Lots of explorers that you uh, might see on YouTube they say they're going to do a 24 hour challenge, but they only show up and they do a couple hours and then they go home. We're actually doing this. We got me, Photography, Rhythm Rider. We got Carlo Palozza, Urbex Carlo, as I like to call him. And uh, they're down the hallway, kind of way down there. And we're doing an actual, legitimate 24 hour overnight challenge. We're in an abandoned hospital. I say it's abandoned, it's owned by somebody. There's uh, still power, as you can see behind me. But uh, we've been in tunnels, we've been in the morgue, we've been in the theater, we've been in the hallways, just going up and down, going through all the different parts of this hospital, checking things out. Sleeping here for the night, we got our hammocks. We're gonna get comfortable, we're gonna get cozy, and uh, that's it. So I hope you've been liking this so far, and uh, we'll be back with some more cool shit soon. We got some light here. We're still here. That's Urbex Carlo right in front of me right there. Graham Rider straight ahead. We've got some light. We got some power. We got some heat. Nice and warm in here. This is good. Having a good night. Having some fun. Nice. Still going here. Photography. I'm Urbex Dave. That's UBC. I just saw a uh, just saw a motion sensor in the pharmacy area. I feel like we're probably okay, but we're gonna go and just duck down for a bit and keep our eye out and make sure everything's cool because you don't want to walk by a motion sensor and set that shit off. We're probably cool, but we're just gonna go air on the side of caution. So we'll be back. <laughs> It's uh, pretty late at night. We're still doing our overnight challenge in this abandoned mental hospital. So we're gonna walk up this hallway here. Power's still on. Rhythm Rider's up there in front of me. Fairbanks Carlo behind me. Ah, shit, okay. I don't know. I don't know. In the tunnels, in the tunnels of the abandoned hospital. Woo! This way, tunnel this way. There's Rhythm Rider. Oh, you're killing my Fucking it right up. Fucking up Rhythm Rider's shots. That's what I do. See, it's down here. So Urbeck Carlo went down here. I think we might have lost him.
Snyder went. I don't know where Urbex Carlo went, but I'm just checking out the tunnels all by myself. I don't know where they went. Coming up on an intersection here. So it looks like we got a we got a way down there. We can go straight. We can go this way. Let's go this way. Let's just take a look. See what's down here. But here we are, we're still doing this 24 hour challenge. <laughs> we're sleeping here tonight. It's pretty stinky in there apparently. But this is, this is where we're sleeping tonight. We're in the uh, abandoned hospital. It's not literally where we're sleeping, but this is the hospital that we're sleeping in tonight. But uh, like I said earlier, a lot of those other YouTube people pretend to do overnight challenges. But when you're a random rider, Urbex Carlo, in photography, you actually do a 24 hour challenge and you sleep in the place that you say you slept in. So we're gonna do it. And what do you always say, Urbex Carlo? Proof is in the pudding. Yep. Right? Proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. And we got lots of pudding. Photography under the red light. Rhythm Rider is over there. I don't know where Urbex Carlo went. He's probably walking around. But we are literally legit in our hammocks in the forensics unit in the jail cells in an abandoned hospital. A psychiatric hospital. So there he is, Rhythm Rider. All tucked in, ready to go to bed. I'm ready to go to bed. We had a couple beers and we had some pizza. We had some stuffed crazy bread. Now we're nice and tired. So we're going to hit the sack, wake up in the morning, do a little bit more exploring, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, Rhythm Rider. Good night for your time. <laughs> Guys, good morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning the next day. Hammocks are still set up. Rita Ryder and I just woke up. Pretty shitty sleep. It got really cold in here. The heat is still on in here, but for some reason it's really cold where we stayed, so not as warm as we thought it was gonna be. But we're up. And we did it. We did a 24 hour overnight challenge in the abandoned psychiatric hospital. So we did it. So now we're gonna pack up and move on to a couple other places. So hope you like this video. Make sure you do, uh, give me some comments down below. Subscribe, I'll put Rhythm Rider and, and uh, Urbex Carlos links down below. Give those guys a follow, share the video, retweet. Give me a little bit of love and thanks. See ya.